You shot straight, but you shot late. High limit. This is the Rundown Podcast. I'm going to give you the rundown. I'm going to give you the rundown. charged in this case, is that correct? Yes, sir. You are charged with taking possession of some of your brother's property uh, after the Dolph killing uh, and for aiding him to communicate with another man by the name of Cornelius Smith after the Dolph killing. Okay. Uh, you have an attorney for that case, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, and he's actually in the courtroom today. Yes, sir. Uh, you have pled guilty to being an accessory after the fact, uh, several counts of that offense, for taking control over uh, the car your brother was driving afterwards, for taking control over a phone that your brother had afterwards, and for helping him by using the phone communicate with Cornelius Smith. Is that right? Yes. Uh, and you've entered a guilty plea to those offenses, but you have not been sentenced yet. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, meaning that a judge has not um, had, a, had a hearing and told you what your sentence is going to be. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, have I told you that it's a very good idea for you to tell the truth and that the truth could help you at whatever sentencing you have on that. Now this building and this system is, is new to you, isn't it? Had you ever... I need to say yes or no. She's recording. Okay, okay. Thank you. Had you ever been arrested before, before this case? No, sir. Ever been to 201 Pilot for court cases and stuff like this before this case? Yes, this was the first time? Yes, sir. And uh, it's the only time? Uh, all right. Yes, sir. I want to ask you about your brother, Justin Johnson, okay? Mm-hmm. Do you see him in the courtroom? Yes, sir. Can you point him out and tell me what he's wearing? He's wearing a gray suit. Okay. Uh, is he seated here behind these two attorneys? Mm-hmm. Could the record reflect he's identified his brother, Justin Johnson? The record so reflects he's identified the decision he put today. Uh, now, how old are you, Jamarcus? 27. Uh, and how old is your brother? Uh, I think he's 25. 25? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, is he your full brother? We got the same dad, different mom. Okay. Same dad, different mother. So half brother or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, as y'all grew up, did y'all actually grow up together in the same house every day? No, sir. Uh, you described sort of how often you would see your brother, Justin. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liken it to something like me and my cousins or something. Mm-hmm. Does that sound about right? Yes, sir. Uh, so you grew up in a different household than your brother. Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. But you would see your brother from time to time? Is that yes, sir. Would you see him at family stuff? When, uh, younger, yeah. When you were younger? Okay. Um, like cousins or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to take you back to uh, 2021, okay? November of 2021. Now, did you even know who Dolph was? A rapper, yeah. A rapper, okay. So you knew Dolph was a rapper? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did you have anything to do with some sort of plan on the front end that killed Dolph? No, sir. Uh, is that anything that you would ever be involved in? No, sir. Any sort of plan to kill other PRE? Do you know that? Do you know what PRE is? Yes, sir. Okay. Any plan to kill the other PRE artists or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. In 2021, about how often would you talk or communicate with your brother, Justin? Um, like every other week. Like every other week? Yes, sir. Uh, in 2021, 
about how many times you think you saw him that whole that whole year? Mm, like two or three times. Okay. So in all of 2021, you would have seen him two or three times. Does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. And you would have talked to him maybe once a week or every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, all right. And again, just because the court reporter, like I mean, you nod your head. I know what you. I, I know it, but we got the court reporter, okay? All right. So it'd be fair to say that y'all were not close. Were his friends your friends? No, sir. Okay. So did you know the people he hung out with? No, sir. Did you know, for instance, Treon Ingram? No, sir. That name mean anything at all to you? No, sir. Okay. Uh, where were you living in 2021? I was... When this happened? When the murder happened. For this time period uh, that we're talking about when Dolph got murdered and when we're here later that Justin gives you his time. Oh, uh, the Harbor Apartments. The Harbor Apartments. Now, what area of Memphis? East Memphis. All right, so you were living in East Memphis. Yes, sir. Okay. And for people that are not from here, uh, there's downtown. Yes, sir. Is that correct? Uh -huh. uh, there's Midtown that is next to downtown that includes across town. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, there's South Memphis, there's North Memphis, yes, sir. and then there's East Memphis. Yes, sir. And you were living out oh. in East Memphis. Yes, sir. Who are you living with? I live with my mom and two sisters. Okay. And, and did my you, son. Yeah. you have a son, is that correct? And you have custody of your son. Yeah. How old is your son now? Four. And were you working back in 2021? Yes, sir. Where were you working? I was working at the Disney Warehouse. Okay, the Disney Warehouse. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, trying to support your son? Yes, sir. And live in those apartments with your mom and your sisters? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Did there come a time after Dolph was killed that your brother Justin got in contact with you? Yes, sir. What was it about? Uh, about bringing me a rental car. About bringing you a rental car? Mm -hmm. Now, had you asked him for a car or anything? Uh, no. Okay, so this is, do you know what out of the blue means? Would this be something sort of out of the blue? Uh, no, he knew I didn't have a car. Okay, your brother would have known he didn't have a car. Yeah, he knew I didn't have a car. Okay. And did, was not having a car hard for you? Yes, sir. Uh, who had to drive you to the warehouse? Uh, I had to get rides. You had to get rides. Okay. Uh, so your brother, is this after Dolph was killed? Yes, sir. Okay. Calls you about giving you a car? Yes, sir. Uh, does this sound good to you? Yes, sir. All right. What happens after the phone call? Uh, I was getting out from work uh, on the way home, and he was like, he was going to call him and bring me the car so I can get back and forth from work. Uh, you know, I'd be getting the car and stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. And did he, in fact, do that? Yes, sir. Where did he have? Uh, like an hour later, to the office. Like an hour later? Uh -huh. At your apartment complex? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what kind of car did he arrive in? It was a, a white Chrysler. Okay. Do you know what a Chrysler 200 or 300 looks like? I think it was a 300. Okay. Oh, they look similar, 200, 300, right? I was, I was just asking, does it look like one of those things? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, is he driving that car? Yes, sir. Does he have anybody with him? Uh, it was some people in the truck. What kind of truck is it? Uh, what color was the truck? It was white. A white truck? You say truck, you mean like a pickup truck or do you mean like a big SUV? It was a big SUV. Big SUV? 
Okay. Do you know who the people were in the white SUV with him were? No, sir. Okay, what happens when he gets there? Um, yeah, we go outside. Okay. okay. Um, go outside, get in the car. You get in the car with him? Mm -hmm. Alright. Quiet. He, uh, he had two bombs. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess he was on the numbers and the bombs and stuff. He was in what? He was like switching the numbers. Putting numbers in the phone, another phone. Okay, so he has two phones in front of you. And it looks like he's taking numbers from one and putting it in the other? Yeah. Okay, now had y'all like, hmm. talked about a phone or anything before? No. Nah. Uh, he was bringing your car. Mm. You're in the car. He's got two phones. Mm. Okay. Um, before this conversation about bringing your car and stuff, when was the last time you had talked to him? Uh, probably like two or three weeks before we had. Okay. All right, so you, you meet him in the car, he's got the two phones, and he's going back and forth with the numbers. Are you asking him what he's doing or what's going on? Uh, he was just quiet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing? Uh, I was on my phone. Okay. So you're sitting there next to him, you're on your phone, and he's doing his number stuff. Mm -hmm. What happens? Um, he told me he uh, was going to give me the phone. Like social media stuff. Like, but he's going to give you one of his two phones. Uh -huh. Okay. And you said for social media stuff? Yeah. Post some pictures on him, check the email and stuff like that. Does your brother uh, have social media? Yeah, Instagram, yeah. Okay. Uh, in fact, you know your brother, does he go by other names too? Other uh, than his real name? Uh huh. Straight drop. Okay. Straight drop and sometimes just drop. Yeah, this is real. Okay. And when you say give it to you for his social media, what do you mean by that? Uh, candlelight or, I don't know, I guess he was just busy. He just needed me to keep up with like, the people that was emailing uh, for like me. Okay, so. Uh, producers, stuff like that. All right, so, so what did you do? Let me back up. He gives you his phone. Uh, because it's the idea that people may be calling or texting or messaging him. Um, you can say that, but he was just mainly he just told me that he needed me like to post the stuff. <coughs> Okay, so he told you at the time that he needed you mm -hmm. to use his phone and maybe post some stuff to his social media. Mm -hmm. Is that like right? videos? Uh, stuff. Okay. Did you ask him why he couldn't do this himself with his phone? No. Okay, well he has this phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. and he's going to give it to you, and you already have a phone. Mm -hmm. You don't need a phone. No, I don't. The car sounds good. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to have his phone and maybe post stuff to social media. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you don't ask him why? No. Does he provide any explanation? Uh, other than just for the social media stuff. Okay. He doesn't say why he needs you to do this rather than him. No, sir. Does he tell you that he's getting out of town? No, sir. Does he tell you that he's got to lay low? No, sir. What happens after he gives you the phone? Uh, somebody was uh, called him, like rushing him to come on. In the car there? Mm -hmm. So he's getting a phone call from while he's in there? Yeah. On one phone or the other, do you remember? I don't know which one. Okay. And so does that end Jaws' little meeting? Uh, nah. Okay, what happens? It's still sitting in the car. Okay. Yeah, it's still doing the same thing with the phone. So put numbers back and forth? I mean, he did have both the phone. I want to look at to see what he's doing, but that's what it looked like he was doing. Okay. He was looking at both phones. Once got done putting numbers or whatever he was doing with both phones at the same time, what happened? Mm -hmm. Nah, I think so. Uh, was he straight? Said, yeah. Then they called again. Whoever it was called him again. And 
me about her to come home so we can get out of the car. I went in the house. And so he gets out of the car? Mm-hmm. Did he get in that white SUV with those other people? Yeah. Okay, and you go into the house. Mm-hmm. And now you have a car that he's given you. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, sir. And you have a telephone that was his. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, after you get possession of, of, of this phone, do people start trying to contact him on this phone? Yes, sir. All right, but you have the phone. Yes, sir. Uh, what happens when somebody contacts him on the phone that you have? Uh, I'll text him and tell him that they call or text. Okay, so if somebody calls him or texts him and you then text him or call him mm-hmm. and say so-and-so just texted uh, or called you, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, were there ever times that somebody would call that phone and then you and your phone would call another phone and put them together so that you know, they could talk? Yes, sir. Okay, so you could aid in those sort of, sometimes we call three-way or whatever, mm-hmm. conversations between him and other people? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, among those sort of three-way conversations, did he ever talk to somebody identified as C? The, uh, the name in the phone was C, girl. Okay. And uh, the voice was a male or a woman? Uh, the one time that I did hear really it, it sounded like you. Yeah. Sounded like it did. Uh, at the time, did you know who C was? No. No, sir. Do you now know that to be Cornelius? Yes, sir. Were you able to hear a conversation going on between Justin on one end of the line and Cornelius since you were? Sort of three way there? Mm-hmm. Not like full conversation. No. Not the full conversation. No. Were you able to hear some of the conversation? Oh. Uh, just a little bit. I want to really just listen. Okay. Uh, you've been asked before whether or not you heard some of the conversation, correct? Yes, uh, and have you described part of the conversation having to do with money? Yes, sir. Uh, having to do with getting money to oh. see? Uh, the text messages. The text messages? Yeah. Uh, and what was it about? Uh, it was like, uh, DJ kept saying, like, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? It looks like that. And I was texting him, my brother, and I was telling him, somebody texted me, and he was like, who he is and what he want. And then when I told him, uh, he kept saying, like, he loved him and stuff like that. And then he said, uh, he said, uh, have you talked to Unc? Okay. Did you know who Unc was at that time? Uh, I said, uh, Then he said, uh, if you talk to him, tell him I need some money for my little girl's birthday party. Okay. Yeah. And uh, did that make any sense to you? Uh, I really don't care. Uh, about money, though. Mm-hmm. The money that would be coming from Justin and Unc to the C person. I don't think it was coming from just, I think it was just coming from home. Coming from home. He was telling him to ask home. Okay. So C was asking Justin to ask home mm-hmm. where the money is. Yes, At the time, did you know who Funk was? No. Okay. At the time, had you ever even heard of Big Joke? I knew he was, uh, Had you ever met him? No. You ever talked to him? No, sir. Okay, but you knew his name? Yeah. From the, from the rap game and everything else? Mm-hmm. Did you uh, use that phone like that 
I mean, would various people text and call, and you tell your brother, hey, so and so text and call? Uh, I don't do that. Okay. During the course of doing this, uh, did your brother ever tell you where he was? Talking about after he left. Uh -huh. He never told you where he was? No, sir. Okay. At some point, the police come to you, is that right? Yes, sir. They, they come to your apartment? Yes, sir. Um, and they want something you got? Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, they want that phone? Yes, sir. Uh, your brother's phone? Yes, sir. Uh, and did you give them that phone? Yes, sir. And did you agree with to go back to the station with them and, you know, be interviewed by the police? Did you do that? Uh, they took me there. Yeah. They took you there, okay. Yeah. They, they took you there. Uh, you turned over the phone and told them about Justin giving it to you? Yes, sir. Now, the original reason that he gave you for this phone was so you could, like, do postings on social media and stuff. Yes, sir. Did you do postings on social media uh, for him uh, while he was gone? Yes, sir. It was, like, two pictures. Which two pictures? It was, like, a picture of some food, like, in the first one. Okay. And another one was, like, some shoes. Okay. So you, you posted two pictures for him. Did you have a picture of some, uh, was it some shorts and fancy shoes? Uh, some Jordans. Some Jordans. And a picture of some food. And did he ask you to post those pictures? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you also follow his social media? Like, did you see the stuff he posted on social media? Yes, sir. Was he still posting stuff on his social media? Uh, not just you? Uh, Like, uh, like a picture of him in a Rolls Royce or a picture of him holding tens and tens of thousands of dollars? Like, uh, not like around the time I posted those pictures. On your sense? Further on down the line. Yeah. Further on down the line. Okay. Uh, before he got arrested. Yes, sir. Uh, so that's not you posting those pictures. No, sir. In fact, I think. You had already, they had probably already had, the police already had the phone at that point. Yes, sir. Pastor is at 57 and 56. Tell me who's in this picture, if you would. You seen those records, Marcus? Is that right? Yeah. Who's in those pictures? Justin. Your brother, Justin? Uh, I could have those exhibits returned. I'm, I'm done asking you questions, Mr. Marcus. Scott, uh, maybe just one question for you. Um, 
or a couple of questions for you. So you knew Justin to be an aspiring rapper. Yes, sir. Correct. Uh, he was trying to get signed. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, had you ever, prior to that date, ran his social media or YouTube before? Yes, sir. All right, so that wasn't something... That wasn't a, a new thing for him to ask you to do. No, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. As the young dog murder case got more interesting by the day, you have a witness that was already prepared to be uh, called to testify against his own brother. That's right. Justin Johnson, better yet known as rapper Straight Drop, his own brother, Jamarcus Johnson, took the stand. And, of course, in that clip that I showed earlier, you've seen a lot of, you know, just basic question answering. But the main thing that the state, the prosecutor, Paul Hagerman, they wanted to know from Jamarcus Johnson did he have knowledge of payments being talked about money for the hit on Dolph, and specifically with Big Juke. And he confirmed, that's right, Jamarcus Johnson confirmed that CMG, Big Juke, right, was getting a message from Cornelius, Lil C, about, hey, I need that money for my little girl's birthday party. Ask Unc uh, about that money, because I need it. That's right. Jamarcus Johnson confirmed a text message from one of Cornelius Smith, right? Asking Justin Johnson because he did not know that Johnson's brother, Jamarcus Johnson, had his phone. And Jamarcus Johnson testified that it was money being talked about, finances, right? Uh, where is this money? Ask Unc, better yet known as AKA Big Jill of CMG Records, him and Yo Gotti, right? They saying he's the number two guy. They saying Big Juk is the number two guy. So we automatically know that the number one guy is who you guys. That's right. You have it. Yo Gotti. And with Yo Gotti being, you know, his name being tossed around here and there, we got to know that the feds are maybe, possibly, allegedly looking into Anthony Big Juk Mim's brother as well. And if he had any type of knowledge about these uh, alleged hits that were put on all of Paper Route Empire's artists, including Dolph, at the top. And as we see, this is where Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith started at, the top with Dolph. And this is why we're here today, because Jamarcus Johnson is now testifying against his own brother. He said he never been in trouble before, you guys. Now, he said he ain't got no record. Uh, never been locked up in Shelby County uh, since his time of staying in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, according to Jamarcus Johnson, he's never been to jail like that. He's never been in trouble with the law before. And now his brother Straight Drop is bringing him this vehicle. He said he just needed a ride back and forth to work because he didn't have a car, right? And now here's his brother willing to help out. He didn't ask no questions, right? But now he's going to tell the answers as to why he did what he did that day, isn't it? You know, uh, he ended up being called an accomplice, right? Uh, he aided and abetted, right? So when the time of when Straight Drop was being getting, you know, investigated, they obviously found out that Jamarcus Johnson had indeed his brother's phone in his possession. And with him having Straight Drop's phone in his possession, you know, like the lawyer said, it's not uncommon that you would have your brother's phone because you would sometimes do his social media promotions and uploading videos and pictures and things of that nature to his uh, artist page, right? So this is what, you know, uh, straight dropping his brother Jamarcus Johnson already had an understanding of doing, right? Uh, they came to his apartment looking for that phone, for Justin Johnson's phone. So we have to know this is how they also tracked Justin Johnson down. Cause when they retrieved the phone, they seen indeed with these GPS points that he was uh, text messaging and calling from. So when Jamarcus Johnson testified that he never been in trouble with the law, you know, I can imagine him, you know, uh, basically talking and cooperating against his own brother because 
he's never been in trouble with the law. Why would he, you know, uh, start now? Why would he begin now? He's the older brother. He said he's 27. Justin is 25. They, you know, have the same dad, but different mothers, right? They have brothers. And, you know, their relationship was something like cousins, you know, not as close as brothers would actually be. So with this all, you know, on the table about the relationship that Justin and Jamarcus actually shared as brothers, right? Half brothers. Uh, you can see that's another factor that I believe, you know, uh, played in the, you know, uh, court's favor because they never was really close like that. Why would his brother leave his possessions with him, right? After this murder of Dolph. And, you know, in the end, we see that Jamarcus Johnson just basically uh, looked at some photos and the state asked him, you know, you've seen these photos before. He's he like, yeah, you know, I've I seen these photos before. And it's Justin. This is my brother, Justin, in these photos. This is what Jamarcus Johnson confirms, right? And pretty much just like that, everything was over with, right? The testimony was done. Uh, Jamarcus Johnson, you know, basically already had this uh, testimony laid out. The state knew what he was going to say. Jamarcus Johnson got up there and he said what he said. And we also heard what Paul Hagerman, the state uh, the prosecutor, told Jamarcus Johnson. Now, didn't I remind you that it's best to tell the truth because that might help you out in your sentencing? And Jamarcus Johnson said, yes, you know, he remember that the state Hagerman told him this, you know, to be truthful about his interactions with his brother, Justin Johnson, right after the murder of Dolph and what exact role he played, right? So this is obviously what, you know, uh, they needed Jamarcus Johnson for to basically identify him in those photos. He basically identified his brother with those same clothes on, right after the murder, uh, things of that nature that match the same clothes as in the video in the Young Dolph shooting, right? So, yeah, man, it's pretty much a slam dunk for the, the state and Hagerman, right? So y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this entire ordeal with Witness, the brother, Jermarcus Johnson of Straight Drop, right? Taking the stand and telling everything he knew about his last interaction with his brother Straight Drop before he went on the run for killing rapper Young Dolph. And until next time, this is OG Jacario TV with the latest in rap, hip hop, celebrity, and urban news. You're watching the Rundown Podcast. I appreciate everybody for spinning with me. I appreciate all my subscribers for sliding with your boy every time. And say, man, hey, man, hey, man, keep hitting that like button, keep hitting that subscribe button. And look, turn on post notification so we can slide whenever I get the drop. You already know what it is, man. It's deeper than Buddha, hurt you hear me? And guess what? I'm gone.